Good morning. As you can see here, it's very clear what we are going to talk about today. Uh, the, the famous president of the United States, Abraham Lincoln. Let's take a short background about him. Abraham Lincoln, who was born in 1809 and died in 1865. He served as president of the United States during a time of a great difficulty. And this statement or this sentence is a very true sentence and we are going to prove this later. The country was divided about the practice of slave holding. Lincoln election in 1860 enraged the agriculture southern state because Lincoln was determined to hold the expansion of slavery. South Carolina, Mississippi, Florida, Alabama, Georgia, all these uh, places has left nation before Lincoln had ever taken office. Virginia, Arkansas, North Carolina, and ten census soon followed. After that, they also left nation before Lincoln had ever taken the office. The sections of these 11 southern states prompted Lincoln to take action. He declared that his primary duty was to uphold the Union of the United States. The Northern and the Southern became embroiled uh, uh, in vicious and in vicious uh, civil wars that lasted for five years. During this time, Lincoln was reelected for the second term. This is the speech he made at the second inaugural, uh, inauguration. Uh, let's uh, take a small look at his speech, which he already made. Lincoln, as a president, over the nation's most terrible crisis, the Civil War began one month before uh, he died. Sorry, uh, it, it was taken, uh, started one month before he took office and ended five days before he died. So it lasted for a very long time. It was more bitter and protected than anyone had predicted, costing more than 600,000 lives. In Lincoln's second inaugural address, he delivered just over a month before his death. He spoke about the war as he had come to understand it, the unspeakable sever, uh, savagery that had already lasted four years. He believed was nothing short of God's own punishment for the sins of human slavery. And with the war not quite over, he offered this terrible pronouncement, uh, pronouncement finally in the speech closing with the immortal words of reconciliation and healing that are carved in the walls of Lincoln's memorial in the nation capital. He set the tone for his plan for the nation's reconstruction. So this shows how much he suffered while holding, when, he, well, when he was elected for the office. Uh, now let's let's take a small look about the second in, uh, in a gravel that he gave the address he, he already gave. How was it, it was how did it influence on the? It is hard to overstate the influence of Lincoln's second in, uh, in a gravel address, which is forever uh, entwined with the influence of Lincoln's subsequent uh, assassination. Uh, he had even uh, lived. The speech would have, uh, or let's say that Lincoln lived the speech would have marked the transition for his first term as a war president to his second. So he was the first uh, president who was who 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 who, who saw this the, the war who have lived the war uh, in his time, and however he was assassinated 41 days later. The speech the speech is called for forgiveness compassion and unity, along with its many biblical reference. So he have taken he had taken a lot of reference from the Bible itself, contributed to the image of Lincoln as a nation's savior. savior. Its final lines are cited as among the most memorable delivered in any in a grammar address and contributed to Lincoln legend. The lines of the speech are carved into a wall of the Lincoln memorable. So as you can see, it was a very, very uh, touching and very important address that he gave, or it was the, it was a very uh, important uh, and uh, touching inaugural address. 
This is in short, the speech of, or the address he gave after the war. Let's very quickly look at the, uh, the vocabs that you can see in this text. One of them is insurgent. Insurgent actually is an adjective in the, in the text. It was used as an adjective and it means in revolt or rebellion. The other, uh, the second uh, vocabulary is uh, called, man, uh, sorry, it's called deprec uh, deprecate deprecated, and this is a verb, which means showed disapproval of something. And then we have magnitude, and magnitude, it means a great size. Something is in a great size, and this is a noun. Let's look if there is any other, yes. Another one here is called <clears throat> writiness. Um, writiness means, it's an adjective, first of all, and it means moral good and religiously correct. So righteous, uh, it means uh, righteous. Righteous means, again, a moral good or a religious correct. Uh, let's look for any other. Um, yes, that's it for today. I guess this is, this is in general, uh, the second inaugural address that Abraham Lincoln gave after the war, uh, which, was start, which started from 1809 till 1865. Thank you so much.